There are three basic arguments for our national service law. First, it would assure that we have the right numbers of workers in the right places at the right time. Secondly, it would provide supreme proof to all our fighting men that we are giving them what they are entitled to, which is nothing less than our total effort. And third, it would be the final unequivocal answer to the hopes of the Nazis and the Japanese that we may become half-hearted about this war and that they can get from us a negotiated peace. It is true that the statement of principles in the Atlantic Charter does not provide rules of easy application to each and every one of this war-torn world's tangled situations. But it's a good and a useful thing, it's an essential thing that to, ha to have principles, principles toward which we can aim. And we shall not hesitate to use our influence and to use it now to secure so far as is humanly possible the fulfillment of the principles of the Atlantic Charter. Under the threat of a common danger, the United Nations joined together in war to preserve their independence and their freedom. They must now join together to make secure the independence and freedom of all peace-loving states so that never again shall tyranny be able to divide and conquer.